Hi everyone, FT here. Welcome back. This is a continuation of my Airsoft pistol collection. Finishing off the pistols that I have not presented on YouTube. Well this one is the KJ Works M92 it's Beretta. I did briefly show this pistol as a comparison in size with the Cheetah, the M84. And then realised that I haven't actually shown this one. So I've had this for quite a while and I don't have the box anymore. Uh, it was the first airsoft pistol I ever purchased and back in the day it was a lot of money but it still works fine. This is heavy, this is all metal obviously except the grips which are plastic but everything else is metal including the trigger. So we have a standard size magazine gas goes in the bottom and I have replaced the gas valves on these and it has a release here. Now this has gas in it. You pull the spring down and you load through the top. It double stacks. As I've said this is all metal except for the plastic grips of course. got the KJ embossed in each of the grips for KJ works has a mock serial number along here K29598J as in KJ works The sights, a uh, single dot at the front, nothing at the back, and you just have to get them to line up. It has uh, ambidextrous safety, which is here at the top. Big red dot saying that it's off safe. When it's off safe, the trigger doesn't work anything. So unlike the M84 Cheetah, this one is a single or double action. But the trigger is quite a way forward from the release point. As you can see, you've got a lot of movement. Cock this way, you can see the triggers move back at least half the distance. Slide lock is here, it's only on one side. And it's for thumb release, as so. And if I remember rightly, even with its age, this does still lock back with an empty magazine. I'll hold this down. The takedown of this is really simple, you don't need to pre-cock it, 
all you need to do is push this button on this side which allows you to pull this lever down and the whole slide will come off. Now looking at this frame you will immediately see compared to my other airsoft pistols how well made this is. Look at that. This is built like a brick shit house. It is solid. The frame itself is metal and this whole insert here where the mechanisms for the trigger release is housed is all metal as well. You'll notice the slide on here is full length. On a lot of the modern airsoft pistols you get a little section here and a little section at the end. Well that might be all they need so this is somewhat over engineered but it adds to the feel. The thing feels solid. Lanyard attachment on the heel. And the same for inside the slide. You can see how all of this is metal. And it's probably way over engineered. But it works. And it's worked for a long time. The Achilles heel is the return spring and the guide rod and I will show you that right now this is the Achilles heel of this pistol a lot of modern airsoft pistols just have the round disc here and if I can get this out and what usually happens on a modern airsoft pistol is that the barrel mechanism has a resting place for the round disc. On this particular model that is a locking pin and the locking pin goes into this hole here like so which is sprung loaded. So as you can see should that break, and they do break, the gun is made useless. Now what I do not know is if that particular part is easily purchasable these days. But I have seen these break. Generally through mishandling, but uh, yeah, there you go. So that's the weak part of this whole pistol. So let me put that back where it came from. So after you've removed the return spring, you can just push the bow forward, drop it down and it slides out. Now even the inner and outer barrels are over-engineered on this. And it doesn't look at first sight as though it has a hopper, but it does. And you need to put a small allen key in there and you can turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise and it adjusts a small rubber inside here which puts spin on the BB. I have replaced these parts but it's quite difficult. You have to knock pins out and you have to undo the screw to split this apart. And then you can take the inner barrel out and replace the hop-up rubber. So the nozzle here has two return springs. has a spring on the left and a spring on the right. If you're into airsoft you probably know that a lot of pistols have a single return spring which is central on the gas nozzle. By having two springs, it's got quite a lot of return on it. But I love it. So to put this back together, you actually need to put the return spring and the guide 
in first and push it all the way back and hold it at this end. Now remember this is the fragile part, if this breaks we're in trouble. So you put your barrel in, drop it down and then gradually bring this forward but rotate it so it engages into the hole in the barrel. There we are. And then to put this back together you basically just slide it on all the way and then you push it hard all the way back and let it come forward. And that's it. So there it is, Flanker Tanker's first pistol, KJ Works Beretta M92, awesome bit of kit, I love it. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video, cheers.